sun, my knees are knocking, my nose is running, my eyes are watering. Hunting is about so many different things to me. And I'm feeling the rush. It's about what I experience, what I hear, what I see, and what I feel. And I look, there he comes. It's part of who I am. It's about sharing the experience. Hunting completes me. It's a godly moment. All the glory be to God. I can tell you that right now. Boom! Smoke, baby. Smoke. Watching everything come to life. Mother Nature at its finest. Boom! Big eight. Look at that, baby. <laughs> Thank you, good Lord. And it's not just about killing everything. This is the memories, this is what it's all about, is making memories yeah. and sharing our passion right here. Got him, buddy. We spoke. <laughs> it just don't get any better. <laughs> and this is why we live and love what we do, baby. That's right. You know, in this fast-paced world we live in, what I love about hunting, getting out there, this is my alone time. This is where I do my best thinking. I can actually let my mind settle down. Crow calling, hoot out hooting, no turkey gobbling, ducks quacking, elk bugling. I love the whole total experience. That's when I say hunting completes me. It's a godly moment. Look, it is coated. Oh, gosh. I'm so excited to get my hands on him. Right up in there. Oh, I see a white belly. I believe it is a white belly shattered. It's about the challenge. Blood, blood, it's about a comfort. Blood, blood, blood. It's about a completeness that I feel in my inner soul. Thank you, good Lord. Look at him. My God. Look at that. Unbelievable. Look at the mass. We're sharing hunt camps, but it may be with an outfitter, but you get to meet new people. Corey? Where you at, bud? Uh, are you down there to the north and down there along the river to the north uh, east? Well, I'm about, you can see us from the tree stand, dude. He didn't go 50 yards. And talk what you live and love to do, and that's our hunting heritage and share <laughs> memories. Cry daddy, good job, bud. All I can say is Hidden Valley Outfitters, Corey Peterson and his partner Dan Blowers, and of course, Logan Peterson, who will probably follow in dad's footsteps. They've got an unbelievable place. Incredible, incredible hunt. Right here from the Cornhusker State. But it gives me a, an opportunity, maybe to just throw a word in, kind of witness once in a while, my love for Jesus Christ too. Incredible, incredible hunt. Thank you, good Lord, for this. Look here. Right where I shot him, he's already pouring. I mean pouring. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the yellow brick road here in Kansas. <laughs> One of the most satisfying parts of my hunting career is being able to have a little bit of an impact to give back to guys I actually tried to help out a little bit getting their first start running video camera. Stay wide, pull back, and then you can push in on it. 16-year-old Cole Townsend, who is now on the Virtue Pro staff, Cole goes to Kansas with me. It's Thanksgiving, it's over the Thanksgiving holidays. We go from the lowest to lows and highest to highs. Everything that could happen that morning went wrong. We're already having an encounter. It's been a cluster this morning. We get in there, the lens is fogged up on the camera, wiping off the lens of the camera, and I'm rattling off something, I turn and look, boom. Hey, it's gonna be a good morning. Absolutely, oh, oh God, there comes a shooter. Shooter, I think, right here, oh gosh, yeah. Big heat, isn't he? I hear I ain't even coming. <laughs> I just basically back away. Now, <laughs> we're just, we're sitting there. We don't know 
it all happened so fast, you're just trying to get prepared. I get the bow in my hand. Cole gets the camera turned around. Okay, I can't see him right now yet. Boom! Smoke, baby. Smoke, big, big eight. Oh, thank you, Lord. Give me some. That's the same tree that cameraman Barry Greenhall, who videos Stan Potts now full time, got his first professional kill out of the same tree. Cole Townsend, he's 16 years old behind the camera here. And guess what? We just got our first kill out of the same tree. Boom. Oh, unbelievable. Perfect shot. Look at that rascal. Good gosh, he's a hog. Look at the body on that thing. I had no idea he had a drop time. He's got another big point coming off back here. I've never seen anything quite like that. I don't know. That is so neat. I really enjoy this moment. The older I get, the more I enjoy this, and uh, I feel blessed because now I'm gonna get to go home for Thanksgiving and spend some time with my family. I've been gone since September. Just pick me up right here. We need to go over and look at him first? No, I wanna go get the first initial reaction. Okay. You ready? Yeah. As always, buddy, you come for it. Thank you. And I look back at <laughs> one particular hunt there with John Skidmore, you, who actually videos now with Headhunters. 10 yards. Dude. And uh, he got Three his first big eight. buck kill with me in Kansas. I I'll never close. forget. I see horns, buddy. I see them, John. Oh my goodness, dude. Ooh, baby, look at this dude. God, this is what I come to Kansas for, baby. <laughs> look at that. John and I are in the tree, hardly any cover. We got deer all under us here. We know there's a big buck in the area. Oh, good gosh, John, big buck. Next thing you know, he's back there working a scrape. He's just making a scrape under those trees there. On them little oaks, can you see him? Yeah. Boy, he's a good buck. I'll take him if he comes in. I think we're going to have a little action here. Get him down to the fence. Walks up to the fence. Right over the fence he goes. Locks onto the decoy. tell you, me and old John have a big buck celebration. Thank you, good Lord, for that one, buddy. <laughs> He's a dandy. And it seems like I've been so rewarded. That's why I think this was my calling, because I've been truly blessed over the years. And I think it's because I give all the glory to the Lord. <sighs> Thank you, good Lord, for that. <sighs> Lord, thank you. Look at that, baby. Big, mature Kansas buck. And dude, I blew him out. Just give me one second here, if you would. Thank you, Lord, for this one. John Skidmore behind the camera, folks. And this is our first kill together. And thank you, buddy. It's not about Facebook likes. It's not about how popular it's gonna make you. It's not about the notches in your belt. It's not about how many big bucks you've killed or the number of inches you've got or the longest beards or how many Can beards. You believe it? Hunting is not about you. Hunting is about an experience to give back what you can get out of it and what it does for the soul. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Unreal. Mm.
Well, you reckon we'll see a deer more now? Right now, I've been hunting for 52 years, ever since I was four years old. And I'm 56 now. I think we're gonna have a halfway decent extra crop. It's gonna be spotty, but I'll have a few. I can't imagine not hunting. It's been a part of me ever since I can remember. Yep, and here's where it all started. Old single shot Ithaca. Shot a lot of squirrels as a kid growing up. I used to run my trap line and everything with it. <laughs> it was kind of handed down. It looks pretty rough, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't take nothing for it. You've heard that song, Granddaddy's Gun. Technically, this was my great-grandfather's gun. He just never got to shoot it. Dad actually cocked the hammer for me when I shot that squirrel. He, he cocked it here, and then he handed it to me, and then I got to do everything else. And he told me, he said, you take a half bead, put that bead right there, take a half bead, and put it right in there on him, right where you want him. And that's what I done. You know, all these deer have a very special meaning to me. All three of these bucks here have been in the Arkansas Big Buck Classic here. But it actually all started with this buck here being the very first deer down here in the den or the basement here. And this is the buck that I actually won the Arkansas Big Buck Classic in. 1990, it was the best bow kill that was entered in the state. And I actually took this big deer, I'm proud of him because I shot him with my Black Widow recurve on public land. And you know, my old buddy Calvin Walker was with me. Right here's the big eight. It's a 160 incher. Iowa with my good buddy Roger Sapper right here on his place. This is probably the darkest horn buck that I've ever taken and I took that in old Mexico. Biggest bodied deer that I've ever shot I think right here and I shot him in Iowa on public land off the ground with a bow. I'm gonna tell you right now there is a lot of good memories in here. I wouldn't take nothing for it. You're gonna get a kick out of these. You've probably seen it before, but that's me when I was 11 years old. We camped out in that old bus, old Metro bus. That's what we camped in. That's public land deer too. That was a trip that we had down there at Wheeler Point down there in Johnson County when I first started hunting and I was fortunate enough to take two bucks that week. I tell you what, I was walking in <laughs> high cotton, I'll tell you. <laughs> Lots of old memories, buddy. <laughs> I guess the biggest habit I got is drinking coffee, but I love the smell of it and I love the taste of it. I'm gonna have to put some more coffee in it, buddy. It ain't gonna be enough, I don't think. Didn't get it quite stout enough. I like a little, a little bite to it there, old Bubba. There we go. You know, going back to the archives, I tried to make up taking old photos and stuff. Really didn't know how to take them, but we took photos. Here's me and my brother. <laughs> Look at this. Holy smokes. I think I was, I was probably about old enough to graduate. <laughs> and I've got a lot of old photos, memories there with turkey and deer and some of my best friends. Just a young kid, there's the camouflage that we wore back then. As you can see, there's my old Chevy truck, old gold. This is my daddy and I don't have very many pictures of him because Mom lost all the photos in a house fire, and I don't have very many. I look back at all these old photos and stuff. Man, they're priceless.
That's all I can say. It takes you back to that time. He had the old yellow wagon back then too. Look at there. All we'd had to do is put an HS sticker on it back in the day, huh? Look at that. I want to call it a Suburban, an old Chevy Suburban back in the background from years ago. And I've had a lot of people that have seen that photo saying, man, that's just about like that old HS truck you used to run around in. <laughs> that's just an older version, you know, back then. But he had, uh, had a phenomenal season there. He's a couple really good bucks there. He was a great hunter. You know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing this. So yeah, I really owe it all to him. I wish I could share it with him again. This one and this one. This was the last one he got to see me with. But, hey, uh, yeah, I lost him. He was 51 years old. You know, it was pretty hard on me because I was a young, you know, pretty young. And, had a lot of responsibility uh, after that because I was the oldest. But uh, I still got some of those memories. I guess my most prized photos Obviously, my daughter shooting her first deer with a crossbow was one of the most humble times I've ever experienced. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you. To the help of my buddies here and old Mike Grayson, we were hunting with him, old hog, and uh, he helped her while I video the hunt, and she got her first buck with a crossbow at six years old, and I videoed it with an old VHS. There's some deer, you know, over the years I've been fortunate enough and blessed to take. These? <laughs> you like them? I don't have a clue. It was whatever was in back in the day, I guess. <laughs> uh, these are some of my buds there. There's my first bull elk. <laughs> and then, of course, the double drop time. I'll never top that particular deer or that particular hunt. It's, it's very special to me. This is my signature buck here and my dream buck, the double drop time. I guess if anybody knows anything about video, primetime bucks 11, this buck right here is the buck that changed my life. And I shot this with my good buddy, Steve Snow, down at his place there in Iowa. And very thankful to get the opportunity. And my little buddy, Josh Wright, filmed it. And then a hunt I'll never forget, right here. The double drop. Happy 
birthday, Mom. <sighs> My mother had just experienced cancer, colon cancer, and was going through that. And then to take it on her birthday. A double drop. Look at that, dear. Oh my gosh. Josh. <laughs> this is my dream buck, folks. I've always wanted to have an opportunity to shoot a drop time buck. If I had one buck to pick, this is this is him. I got to take a giant buck <laughs> in Wyoming this year and I took him on Sunday. Big bull elk, five by six in Colorado. Took him on Sunday and now, October the 29th, my mama's birthday. <sighs> Looky here, another Sunday. It's what I love about Sundays. <sighs> a 200 inch double drop time, typical with big drop times. Truly blessed. That's I'll never top that hunt. I'll never top it. Well, Brittany and Lacey, my two daughters, you know, they were raised up hunting. But neither one of them really hunt a whole lot now as they've gotten older, but they still encourage hunting and stuff. That's what makes me feel proud as a father. But I will, I will tell you this, anytime I shoot a deer, they're the first ones who want deer meat. And that's the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get that baby girl in here in a minute. She'll be wound up. You watch this. She loves, she loves to dance with Papa. Becoming a grandpa has really totally changed me. It's like I get a second chance. Are you ready to dance? How are you? Now I've got two granddaughters and I had two daughters and it almost reminds me of just starting over. Yeah. Deer track. Deer track, uh -huh. deer track. But watching Ruby Bell, she's two years old now and and she loves to go with her papa. I got a roller poly. I got an ant. You love the roller polies and you love the ants. I know you do. Big buck tracks and roly polies and ants and stuff crawling around. I love taking her because I'm spending quality time with her, getting her out there, and she gets so excited watching all this stuff, opening up the, the covert trail cameras, you know. She's gotta to try to get the card out and everything. And remember, she's only two. But right there is what really gets me fired up. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? What is that? A big buck. That is what now? A big buck. Big buck. And, and Jade, I think, is going to come on just like her because she's a Pawpaw's baby, too. She loves for me to two-step with her. I dance with her. Oh, yes. She likes to spin with Papa. By golly, I tell you, there's just nothing like my, my grandbabies. I look forward to trying to at least introduce them to the outdoors. I'm gonna do that as much as I can. Hey, Blue Eyes. Give me a smile, will you smile? <laughs> a baby <laughs> Big, big buck. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. It's awesome. What? <laughs> Is that how you do it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You like <laughs>